I think it was absolutely crucial that I had that standing as a certified sustainable building advisor and the credential was uh, absolutely crucial to uh, allowing me to get this job. Instead of having one single instructor teaching an entire course, they brought in experts from all these different aspects of sustainability, which I thought was, you know, a very powerful education. My education and uh, training through the SBA class uh, sort of created uh, an awareness for me that there are other opportunities uh, within our company to grow beyond. SBA is featured on my resume that goes out to our potential clients, so it, it has an impact more than just me being able to come on board with McKinstry, it also has enabled us to uh, utilize that as we look for other opportunities with other clients. More than anything, I think also just being in that environment with so many other people that were fascinated with this industry as well to the same degree and had the same sort of interest level and energy and enthusiasm and it was pretty contagious. I'm the executive director for the National Sustainable Building Advisor Program, or as we lovingly call it, NASBAP. And its major role is, in fact, its only role is to uh, provide uh, schools and educators around the country with curriculum materials and services that help them uh, put on the Sustainable Building Advisor Certificate Program successfully. And that program is for working professionals, so architects, engineers, uh, facility managers who are in the field, who have been in the field for a while and uh, want to learn about sustainability, apply it to their profession, and create sustainable buildings in their practice. I think it was probably about the fifth or sixth session when I was sitting in the class and just listening to a fascinating discussion between both the students and the instructor, and a light bulb suddenly went off in my head. And I thought, what am I doing? Like, I just, I need to be in this every day of my life. The SBA gave me a, a wide spectrum and background from everything from urban planning uh, to mixed use, multifamily, to commercial property. So I, I feel I've, I got a real rounded education in terms of the different types of, of properties and buildings that are out there. But what was great about it is I was learning things in the course that I could actually take right back to my job. And so, even though there was a time component to it, it was meaningful time and I was able to use it right away. I think the most engaging part were the field trips uh, and also uh, some of the, gr the group project that we did. The Sustainable Building Advisor Program is pretty unique in that it's a combination of learning methods. Uh, there, there's lecture, there's a lot of information delivered. I thought it was a great project and the visuals were really great. That information is supplied in the context of understanding what the process is to get from an idea about a building to a sustainable building in the ground. It was successful, and, you know, a lot of winging it in certain areas, but we did very well. Without a doubt, the team projects and the having a real-life project to work on, to study and to work with other people in different professions made the course uh, so much more valuable and enriching. It was just a really a delight to, to work with the group. We had uh, two architects, as well as an interior designer, a system specialist, a project manager for a large project and we were just a great team. I was lucky enough to have a fantastic team that I was paired with from the very beginning that we all became instant friends. I was able to bring the team back together for a green building conference in Tacoma last October and this was a year and a half after our graduation. The individuals that have earned their CSBA credentials are going to be presenting employers with something very different than someone without it. They're going to have a nine-month course that is comprehensive. They're going to have an experience that is very, very different. And they're going to have a past an exam that's a national exam um, and is a national credential. So that's different. The fact is, is that an SBA will have substance 
So when they present the credential, they're also going to be presenting a substantial base of knowledge and competence and confidence, a whole network behind them.